Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at some Safari extensions that could increase your productivity. So you can get Safari extensions by going to Safari, Safari Extensions Gallery. And one of the main categories there is productivity. There are a lot of cool things under that. Let's take a look at some of them. When you go into your Safari Preferences and then click on Extensions you can see which extensions you have installed. So let's take a look at these four. The first one I want to look at is something called Access Keys. Now some websites have keyboard shortcuts that work on the different web pages. These are embedded into the code for the pages. The only problem is you don't always know what these are. What Access Keys does is it puts them up at the top in a toolbar. So for instance I can see in here that there's a bunch of different access keys for this Wikipedia page. So if I wanted to jump right to the discussion I just need to use T. So I would use Command Option and then T and it will take me to the discussion page. So having this extension is a great way to discover which pages that you regularly go to have access keys and then you can see what they are. Next we've got one called Type to Navigate which is another way to quickly get around a web page. So when I have this extension installed I can see a link on a web page and instead of using my mouse I can just start to type the characters in the link and it will highlight it just like that. I can hit return to jump right to that web page. So you see here in addition to return to jump to the link I can use command G to jump to the next link on the page, command C to copy and command I to send it to Instapaper if I use it. So here's a relatively simple one called tab lock. Now what this will do is it will lock a tab so you can't jump away from it. So I'll open three tabs here and let me go to a page and say I want to stay on that page. I don't want to accidentally close this tab. I can hit the lock button that appears up here. I have a L in there and I can jump to these other tabs and if I try to accidentally close this tab I get a box here making sure that I really want to close it. And finally we have URL shorteners. Now there's a whole category in Safari extensions for these. They're not under productivity but this one called Shortly is a pretty good one and allows you to use Google, Bitly or Tiny URL. So what you can do of course you've got a long link like the one up here. Uh, you want to paste that into a tweet or an email. You just click the button it gives you and it will generate a short URL that you can then copy and paste into an email. It even works if the page itself has a short URL like for instance the posts at MacMost.com do. It will use those rather than creating one from one of these services. So there's a look at some productivity extensions for Safari that I found useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.